lest thou make a covenant with the inhabitants of the land whither thou goest, lest it be for a snare in the midst of thee. But ye shall destroy their altars, break their images, and cut down their groves. For thou shalt worship no other god, for the Lord, whose name is Jealous, but ye shall destroy their altars, break their images, and cut down their groves. For thou shalt worship no other god, for the Lord, whose name is Jealous, is a jealous god. Lest thou make a covenant with the inhabitants of the land, and they go a-whoring after their gods, and do sacrifice unto their gods, and one call thee, and thou eat of his sacrifice. And thou take of their daughters unto thy sons, and their daughters go. Hello, folks. This is this is the month of November. My birthday is on November sixteenth. My mom was going to give me my birthday present early on November twelfth, but but because I kept after her begging her to give it to me early, earlier than the 12th. She decided not to give it to me until my birthday, which is on November 16th. Well, well, the day before I bothered her so bad that she changed her mind, I asked, I asked the Lord what he said he wanted me to do, and he said, guard your heart. So from now until November 16th, I'm going to do my best to spend less time with TV, games, or anything else. And I'm going to do my best to focus on the only God that you heard about in, in that Bible passage as much as possible. Now keep in mind, Malachi 3 says he does not change. Titus 1 says he does not lie. So, so folks, the whole reason I am making this video for you is whenever you have to wait for something, ask the Lord to help you forget about it until the time comes. And then, and then if you have to wait over two days, Ask the Lord to help you focus on Him as much as possible during that time. Malachi 3 says the Lord does not change. Titus 1, He does not lie. Matthew 6, If we forgive those that have sinned against us, we, we will be forgiven. But if we don't forgive them, we will not be forgiven. John 14 with Matthew 7, asking you shall receive. Mark chapter 9 and, and, and chapter 11, all things are possible to those who believe. Romans 10, faith comes by hearing, hearing by the Lord's word. Hebrews 11, without faith it is impossible to please the Lord. So if you are like me and if you are impatient, if you have to wait over two days for something that you really, really want or for something that you badly, badly, badly want, ask the Lord to help you to forget about it until the time comes. And also at that same time, ask him to help you to only focus on him and nothing and nobody else. Let me know if this, if this video helps you or I'll be wondering, but no thanking me, do not thank me.